Hi guys, Steve Good here with the Scroll Saw Workshop. Been a while since I've done a video and I have a product tonight that I want to do a little review for you. And uh, this particular product is from Bigfoot Products. And if you followed my blog for very long, you know I've reviewed a couple of his products. And uh, David over at uh, Bigfoot was good enough to send me his latest uh, product. And that particular product happens to be uh, called the Press and Grip. Now, in uh, this uh, basically is a clamp, uh, but it's kind of a unique clamp, and it seems to work pretty well for cutting compound cut scroll saw patterns. Uh, so I thought I'd review it and uh, show you uh, what I did with it. Here is the press and grip, and uh, quite simply, it's a wooden frame with two dowels that have these super heavy duty springs on them. And what it allows you to do is pull this back and place your compound cut uh, block of wood in between and then use it uh, at your scroll saw to cut out that compound cut. Uh, I'm going to do a project and I'll post the pattern for this uh, on the web also so you can, uh, you can use it. Uh, but uh, one thing that you'll need uh, after you buy the press and grip is a couple of extra spacers and in this case what I did is I took some uh, 3 quarter inch uh, MDF and I glued sandpaper to it uh, to give me a nice rough surface to help hold the piece in. Now this particular piece of wood that I'm going to be cutting this compound cut out of uh, is just a simple construction grade 2x4 that I cut down to 1.5 inches deep and 1.5 inches wide, 4 inches long. Uh, what, are you, what you do to uh, use this as a compound cut jig is you take your spacers and with the sandpaper uh, touching the wooden block that you're going to be cutting. Go ahead and sandwich them in there. And if you look down here at this crossbar, uh, the way to uh, put these pieces in this clamp is to pull this crossbar back and then set the piece up over the, uh, the spacers. And it looks like this when you get done. And I'll show you here in a minute uh, the way I put this on here. Um, it's a little bit difficult because your fingers want to get pinched right here, uh, but after using it for a while I came up with an easier method for putting it on. Okay, now I've got the, uh, the jig and the compound cut piece over at the uh, scroll saw. Uh, you can see I've obviously already cut my interior or drilled my interior holes and I'm ready to start cutting. Oh, the uh, Number one thing that you look for in a compound cut jig is that it holds very secure uh, with no movement of your pieces. And when I first received this, I really didn't think that there was much of a chance uh, that these springs could hold enough pressure to clamp this piece in here without it moving. Um, if you've done any compound cutting, you know that a one and a half inch thick piece of wood, even uh, in this uh, construction grade two by four, which is pretty soft, is pretty difficult to cut and sometimes you have to apply quite a bit of pressure uh, to get the blade through the wood. What I found however though is once I put these spacers in here with the sandpaper uh, glued to the edges the press and grip actually holds very well. I had uh, no slippage at all when I cut this piece out right here. I did uh, have a little bit of slippage before I added the sandpaper to these blocks on an earlier test piece I cut, uh, but after adding the sandpaper it worked perfectly. Okay, I've finished cutting out the first uh, side of the compound cut and I'm going to go ahead and flip it over and you can see I've just removed the jig, uh, flipped the block over, and now I'm going to show you how I go ahead and put this on here to make it easier. Now in this case I'm using one hand to hold the camera, but normally you would have both hands uh, gripping the, uh, the uh, cross member right here, pulling it back, and because it's hard to get it all the way down, I found out that you don't have to. Go ahead and stop with the wood down here. In other words, the jig is still not touching the table. At that point, you can let go, then take the palm of your hand and push the jig down over, uh, 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 over the block of wood until it touches the table and then you have a nice uh, flat surface that you can cut from. Here I'm going ahead and finish cutting the second side of the compound cut. 
I uh, finished uh, with all the interior cuts and I have the uh, jig and the block back over at my uh, drill press or at, back over at my uh, uh, workbench. I removed the uh, jig and took off uh, all the the uh, paper and tape and you can see we have a nice little love you compound cut pattern. Okay back to the press and grip which is the original intent of this. The press and grip uh, according to the web page is ideal for 3D patterns like we just did, stack patterns, small items, glued parts. Um, I didn't use it for any of the, those other features. I could see it uh, coming in pretty handy for gluing up bowls uh, on the scroll saw, but I didn't uh, test it for any of those things, so I can't really attest to uh, how much use you'll have. But as a 3D or a compound cut uh, clamp, uh, I would say it worked very well. I was pretty pleased with it. Uh, the product sells for, let me get over here to the order page, the product sells for $29.95. Let's see uh, what the shipping is. Uh, I'll let you go over to his website and uh, check out all the details on it. Uh, $29.95, if, if you're the type of person that's not real interested in building your own clamps and tools for uh, uh, cutting out compound cut patterns, uh, I would say the press and grip uh, is an excellent buy at a reasonable price. So uh, I would go ahead and uh, give it a try. And I think you'll like it. Let's read a couple of the things here on the on the website. Unique uh, quick load clamping system, custom made super torque dual springs, and I will attest that those springs are tight. Uh, auto lock compression, low profile solid wood one and a quarter inch frame. Uh, let's see, accepts up to five and three quarters inch length and three and a half inch width. Simply use spacer block for small parts, which is what you saw me do in the pictures that we just showed. Uh, excellent for holding 3D scroll saw patterns, and uh, I do agree to that. It uh, it does a, just exactly what it says it'll do. Okay, that's the press and grip. Uh, I want to uh, say thank you to David for uh, allowing me to review this product, uh, and uh, also sorry to David for uh, being so slow in getting the review done. I've had a lot going on here in the last couple months and haven't been able to get out into the shop to uh, do some of these things I've been wanting to do. So that's the press and grip. Uh, you can see the press and grip at bigfootproducts.ca uh, and I'll post a link uh, below the YouTube video and also in the blog post. I'm Steve Good. Hope you like this video and we'll see you next time here at the Scroll Saw Workshop.